Parasitology Simplified Easiest Way to Learn Parasite A book written by me uh, It has a slant feature that entire parasitology is in tabulated form Hello to all I am making this video lecture series as a part of e-learning module for parasitology Let me introduce myself I am Dr. Tanmay Mehta I am Assistant Professor at Department of Microbiology at NHL Municipal Medical College, Ahmedabad Let us start this session with a case. A 12 year old boy returns from four days camping trip. Two weeks after that, he developed abdominal cramps, watery diarrhea, flatulence and cetoria. After seven days of non-recovery, his mother brings him to you. On asking, boy tells you that he drank water from mountain stream without filtering or boiling it. So which laboratory investigation would you like to do? Now, applying common sense, you said that, okay, it is a case of diarrhea, so I would like to go for first a stool routine microscopic examination. And you're right. So we have done stool microscopic examination and on weight mount, you have seen this kind of uh, picture uh, or organisms which are shown here. And you immediately treated him with tininazole. Now this is actually a case of giardia lamblia. This is actually one of the earliest protozoan parasite to have been recorded. It is actually the most common protozoa pathogen in the United States. It, it is the most common cause of wash upon diarrheal disease. It is named giardia after Professor Giard of Paris and lamblia after Professor Lamble of Prague, who gave a detailed description of this parasite. Now, before I move uh, further, there is a fixed uh, scheme under which we discuss any parasite. And I know that most of you are well aware of it, but just for sake of uh, more clarity, I would like to go uh, and discuss this scheme with you. First of all, we will see that this parasite is common in which geographical region, then it is situated in which body organ or body site in human being that is called habitat. Then we will discuss what are the different morphological forms in which this parasite is seen. Then we will discuss its life cycle, including which are the hosts uh, involved, what is the infective form of this parasite, what is the mode of infection and other details. Then we discuss about the pathogenicity or clinical manifestation. Then what are the direct as well as indirect diagnostic methods which are available and finally prevention and treatment modalities. So let us start with geographical distribution and because as I have already told you that this is the most common protozoal parasite so it is found worldwide but it is more common uh, in areas with loose sanitation especially tropics and subtropics and visitors to such areas uh, often develops travelers diarrhea. Habitat, Giardia lamblia lives in the duodenum and upper part of jejunum and actually it is the only protozoan parasite found in lumen of uh, human small intestine. Morphology, it exists in two form. First form is pathogenic form uh, and motile form that is known as trophozoid. And second form is cyst or cystic form, uh, which is actually a non-motile form and it is more resistant. The strophozoid is in the shape of tennis racket or heart shape or pyriform shape, as you can see here. And it is uh, anteriorly rounded, but posteriorly it is pointed, as you can see in the diagram. Dorsally it is uh, convex, but ventrally it is concave. And on ventral surface, it has a sucking disc, which helps uh, in attachment to the intestinal mucosa. It is actually a bilaterally symmetrical parasite. It has one pair of nuclei, four pairs of flagella, a blepharoplast from which this flagella arises, that also you can see. One pair of exostyles running along the midline, also known as exoneme. Two sausage shaped parabasal or median bodies lying transversely posterior to sucking disc. As you can see, it is shown here. These are the parabasal bodies. And trophozoid is motile. 
it is a motile form it is a pathogenic form and it shows you a falling leaf like motility and this motility shows slow oscillation along its long axis and this motility is shown here on the slide the second form it is actually the infective form and more resistant form it is cystic form the cyst is very small in size uh, oval it is surrounded by a thick hyaline wall and its internal structures include two pairs of nuclei or four nuclei you can say uh, exostyle or exoneme you can see uh, that lies diagonally forming a dividing line uh, within the cyst wall also remnant of flagella and sucking disc may also be seen in cyst now let us talk about the main portion that is the life cycle and giardia passes its entire life cycle in one host and that is human being or man what is the mode of uh, infection it is man acquires this infection with ingestion of the infective form that is actually cyst and this cyst actually contaminates water and food person to person transmission may also be seen uh, via sexual route so human acquire this infection through consumption of contaminated water or food or by fecal oral route or by hands of fomites and within half an hour of ingestion this uh, cyst will hatch out into two trophozoites and which multiply successively by binary fission and colonize the duodenum and the upper part of jejunum and this trophozoites they are the pathogenic form and they feed by pinocytosis and they cause attachment to the intestinal mucosa with help of sucking this they cause cell death there and cause interference with the function of intestine and in function of intestine is basically absorption of contents so it causes malabsorption diarrhea and as you develop immunity against uh, these parasites and create unfavorable condition the strophozoite will undergo encystment in and that happens usually when it reaches to the colon and it converts into the cyst and this cyst a past in the stool and the cyst can remain viable uh, in soil and water for several weeks and approximately 2 lakh cyst are passed per gram of feces enhanced susceptibility to giardia cyst is associated with uh, blood group a a chlorhydria cannabis ingestion chronic pancreatitis malnutrition and immune defects like immunoglobulin a deficiency and hypogamma globulinemia incubation period is approximately 2 weeks now mechanism by which it causes the diarrhea is not by invasion it does not invade any tissue but it remains tightly adhered to intestinal epithelium by means of sucking disc and this will alter the villus architecture uh, by cell apoptosis and lymphocytic infiltration which ultimately lead to malabsorption so there are various clinical presentations which could be seen uh, in case of giardiasis a patient may remain asymptomatic patient may develop mucus diarrhea or travelers diarrhea epigastric pain flatulence fat malabsorption which may lead to uh, steatorrhea or vitamin a and other fat soluble vitamin deficiencies chronic diarrhea like syndrome may also be seen in children it may colonize gall bladder and cause biliary colic and jaundice a study tip uh, diarrhea caused by protozoa famous ones uh, dysentery or bloody diarrhea caused by antamoeba histolytica fatty diarrhea or steatorrhea is usually caused by giardia lamblia watery diarrhea it can be caused by giardia but the more common version is cryptosporidium parvum which is an acid fast parasite what are the different uh, diagnostic methods so for direct demonstration of this parasite we have to collect specimen and we know that uh, we can find it in stool as well as in duodenum so multiple stool samples at least 3 has to be collected 
uh, you can preserve them in formalin and other concentration methods can also be tried or you can collect duodenal aspirates microscopic examination of stool shows offensive pale fatty floating stool on microscopic examination on saline and iodine weight mount you can see uh, only cyst in case of carriers because or non diarrheal stool but if it is a case of diarrhea you will see both the forms cyst and trophozoites but mind well saline forms will only show uh, the trophozoites because iodine will kill uh, the parasite so no motility of trophozoite will be seen so the first diagram shows you the cyst phase in case of uh, uh, saline mount this is the iodine mount and this is the trichrome stain same things goes for the trophozoites this is the saline uh, preparation this is trichrome and this is iodine antro taste or string taste uh, it is a useful method for obtaining duodenal specimen but it is obsolete now what we do a coil thread inside a small weighted gelatin capsule is swallowed by the patient after attaching the free end of thread in the cheek the capsule passes through the stomach to the duodenum and after 2 hours the thread is withdrawn placed in saline and mechanically shaken and centrifuge deposit of this saline is examined for GRT so here the antro taste equipment showing the duodenal capsule attached with the thread uh, as you can see one end of thread is secured with a tape on the cheek and patient swallows this capsule until it reaches the uh, to the duodenum via the stomach zero diagnosis is also helpful either we want to detect antigen in case of feces GSA 65 antigen is detected in stool with help of ELISA immunochromatography or indirect immunofluorescent taste and antibody detection can also be possible uh, it can differentiate recent and past infection but they are not that much sensitive has only epidemiological value molecular methods DNA probes and polymerase chain reaction have been used to demonstrate parasitic genome in the stool specimen but they are expensive treatment for adult we recommend uh, tenidazole 2 gram single dose and metronidazole 25 milligram uh, twice daily for at least 7 days in children uh, less toxic drugs like furazolidine and nitrosoxamide are uh, recommended and for pregnant females non teratogenic drug like parvomycin is uh, prescribed prevention uh, giardiasis can be prevented by proper disposal of wastewater and feces practice of personal hygiene like hand washing before eating and proper disposal of di uh, diapers prevention of food and water contamination community chlorination of water is ineffective for inactivating the cyst boiling of water is effective so key points about giardia it is the only protozoa parasite found in lumen of a small intestine it has a tannish racket shaped motile uh, trophozoites and uh, they, they exhibit falling leaf motility uh, the oval cyst with four nuclei and remnants of flagella which are actually the infective form clinical features may range from asymptomatic to watery diarrhea to the fatty diarrhea and diagnosis is by demonstration of trophozoite or cyst in stool or by zero diagnosis by ELISA treatment is metronidazole and tinidazole thank you